Hey everybody, it's Roberta with Happy on the Home Front. It is the first week of April, and I know it's been a long time since I've um, posted a video, but hopefully this update will give you some information about why. Um, let's see, as you can see, I am um, not looking too great, and I sound terrible, and that's because we're all sick. Um, me, um, Ezra and Ada are all sick with colds. Um, I'm going on three weeks of not feeling well. The first two weeks were a terrible allergy sinus attack. Um, and then <clears throat> this week we have colds that we caught from my husband. Um, so anyway, um, please excuse my voice and coughing and snorting and sneezing and sniffing and... Um, <clears throat> all the blinking I do from allergies and wearing contacts. So anyway, you can also see that my hair is different. Um, that is um, a source of contention for me, um, and it was self-inflicted. Um, I decided one day a couple weeks ago to um, thin out my hair myself. Um, bad idea. And um, thinned it um, too close to my scalp which made my hair have even more body and volume, so I had to go get it fixed. And the fix was um, having it much shorter. So, um, but I'm hoping to eventually let, let it in, um, grow down and then keep this cut up short so that I have a just a really basic bob again. So, and then I'll let it grow out and all that. So. Okay, so we're sick. I have a new haircut. Um, Ada is having her first real illness. She's having her very first cold. Um, she's turned two, I believe, since I last um, posted a video. <coughs> um, and also, um, since then, I have um, had a cortisone shot in my left knee, the same one that's been hurting all along. Um, we went to Dollywood two and a half weeks ago. And by the end of that, um, you know, 14 hour day of driving in at Dollywood, um, I could barely walk. So my knee was very aggravated and it's been um, swollen and painful since then. Um, the cortisone shot did help the inflammation, um, but really the only thing that helps the pain is getting off of it in ice, which, as you know, is hard for me to do. So, um, Ada has been extremely content in her playpen. She asked to get in there, but now that I'm doing a video, she's <laughs> she doesn't want to be in there. So, let's see Miss Ada. Look, it's me, Ada. Hey. Who's that? Can I go up now? No, we can't go upstairs right now. Mommy's got to wash dishes. Who is that? Who is that? It's Ada. It's Ada. Say hi, Ada. Hi, Ada. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay. Okay, everybody. I'll try to keep filming. Um, <clears throat> see if I can do what Miss Ada needs me to do. <coughs> um, anywho... Um, let's see, since I filmed last, um, like I said, my knee's been giving me problems. Um, um, my husband and youngest son have been to Disney with my son and daughter-in-law and grandbaby, and so they had a good time with that, but Aiden and I did not go. I just felt like it was too much for her at her age. Yeah, well, let me get you out, and we'll find something to do. Come on. And um, and then also, it was a good decision because by the time they left, I was sick, and my knee was swollen, so I couldn't have um, enjoyed myself or even made it through Magic Kingdom with <clears throat> all this pain. So, anyway, but they had a good time. Okay, and... We are finally starting to have some spring here, which is 
a blessing and a curse. It's, it's definitely triggering allergies for everybody. Um, you know, the pollen is like, just looks like spray paint on everything. Um, but I also want to show you my updated sign bubble. Um, this is the scripture I have on there right now, Philippians 2, 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Um, I love that one. And if I could just do that, it would just encompass everything that I need to be doing. So, um, oh, let me think what else. Um, I've been using up lots of my freezer meals, getting down to the last 10 or less freezer meals. So I will be doing a large involved freezer cooking adventure <laughs> in the next couple of months. And I'll post more about that. So I also wanted to show you um, a little bit of an update <coughs> of my weight loss adventure and journey. Um, I'll show you my just very simple little notebook that I've been keeping with my calorie counting. Um, and it's been kind of off with some of the, the illness and having to take anti-inflammatory medicine around the clock and you know, you have to eat something with that. So, but anyway, and several of the pages got wet and I had to tear those out. But anyway, so here's, um, here's some of this. I hope you can see that. Okay. And then, so I've just been writing down all of my calories for the day and trying to stay um, under 1,500. <clears throat> And um, so far, so good. <coughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Some days I um, go right up to um, 1,500, um, as you can see. And then other days I have just a little bit left. Um, and then, like I said, several of my pages got wet and had to be torn out, but... Um, Overall, it's been really helpful. It's, it's help just keeping me mindful of my portion sizes and just kind of where I was going wrong. I haven't really changed much what I'm eating, except I am trying to eat more fresh stuff. Um, <clears throat> but then with all this sickness, you know, you just got to eat what you can get at the store and what your family's willing to go get for you and um, grocery orders and things like that. So... Um, but since my initial weight loss post in February on video, um, where I weighed 203 pounds, um, I'm now down to 193. So yay! I'm super excited about that. Um, I have not been exercising because of my knee. I've just been counting calories. So I'm very thankful about that. And I've got a ways to go, but I'm very encouraged. Um, there have been a few times that I've been hungry. Um, and I know um, that's a hard time for me because that's when I want to overeat. Um, but I've just been trying to be really careful and watch my list on my little notebook. And that's it. So, um, so there's some updates for you if you would pray for us with this illness and especially my knee. It is really hard for me to have to sit down and not be able to take care of my family, my home, the way that I would like to. And, you know, go grocery shopping and, and things like that. So, um, that's been really difficult for me. I do not like being down and out. Um, and my husband and my mom already helped me so much <coughs> that I really don't like to ask. So... Anyway, let me hear from you. What are you up to? Um, what do you have planned for Easter? I'm so looking forward to Easter and resurrection celebrations and um, more on that later. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit like, share my crazy video, and um, can't wait to hear from you in the comments. Thanks.